guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been a long, long time that I've shot a YouTube video, and uh, that's also because my creative block has been staggering. I haven't really thought of any creative ideas that I want to bring about in my channel and make my channel. But here I am, uh, actually going to try the makeup hacks, the weirdest makeup hacks that I've seen on the internet, especially on the Five Minute Crafts YouTube channel. And I've got a few makeup hacks that I want to try and see if they actually work. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. If you're an old person watching, then you're the best. And uh, thanks for coming back. So let's begin. Okay, so I have seen so many, so many of contouring hacks. But this one is very special because this is the first time I've seen something like that. It is super weird. But I'm just going to see if it works for my face or not. I already have makeup on, but I haven't done contouring. So I just want to see if this works for me or not. <laughs> Okay, okay. So she's done yaha pe ek circle, yaha pe. She's made a rainbow on her face, which is so weird. Uh, I have a small forehead, forehead, so I can't really see anything. Then she's done uh, the usual nose contour. Okay, so the contour, this contouring stick that I used was from Etude House Play 101 stick and this is the eye magic blender that I just got and I wanted to try. It's a pretty good blender and the trick that I just used, I blended it all in, the contouring stick that I used on my face and I'm, I'm pretty surprised by how well it works. There is definitely a lot of structure on my face using this trick. Uh, but I'm not sure if it will work for everyone because we don't usually have a round structure. So for somebody who has a round face, this might work because you're making round circles across your face. But otherwise, I'm not sure if it will work but I'm pretty impressed by this hack. So it is actually a good hack and you can definitely use it if you don't know how to contour your face. Uh, let's move on to the second hack. Um, अच्छा तो अब हमें करना है हमें एक बोतल की कैप यूज़ करनी है to actually do our eyes now the fact that I know how to do eye makeup I do not know why I'm doing this hack but let's just see how it works I've heard it works really badly and yeah so let's try this two thousand years late मुझे दस मिनट लगे अपने घर में एक बोतल का ढक्कन ढूंढने के लिए but now I'm back and I've got this palette from Nykaa to just try this trick out and see if this cut crease actually works or not. Now I feel that this is going to be a lot of fuck because I can't even see anything and I'm doing everything using the rear view of my camera. The sun is constantly going down because I'm so stupid I'm shooting after 5 in winters. Uh, but if there's no light I will use my ring light to give you some light and show you what I'm doing. Uh, not bad actually like it's actually not bad at all. I am surprised. Like the curves that have come out of the bottle uh, cap is actually really surprising to me that my eyes look a little more defined. Uh, so yeah, you can try this as well if you're a newbie in doing makeup. Now we're moving on to the next makeup hack. <laughs> Whenever I'm doing my makeup, I'm so stupid that I wear my outfit before 
Uh, I do my makeup, so most of my white outfits have foundation all over them. Uh, and if not foundation, then powder for sure. And if tape removes powder, then we shall try it. So I really did not want to spoil my new night suit uh, trying this hack out. So I've got an old sweatshirt to show you this actually works. And I've got my Fit Me Maybelline powder and I'm going to drop some on it. I hate wasting makeup but okay. For what it's worth for a YouTube video. Uh, so I put some of the powder on my sweatshirt. I didn't even get like transparent tape. I've got the brown tape. So let me just see if this works or not. wow this actually does work i mean i could do it properly but i'm impressed by how easily it works for all the review videos of the five minute craft makeup hacks that i've seen till now um a lot of them have been about insulting them and how they don't work but until now whatever i've tried i've been pretty impressed let's move on to the next trick Okay, so this hack, which shows that if your foundation is too dark, you can mix it with moisturizer and it'll be lighter. Uh, but I'm still gonna try this hack to show you that it won't get lighter than it is. It'll only get a little sheer and it won't give you full coverage. Sadly, I have an Armani Silk Luminous Foundation in the shade 9, which is super dark for me. And I feel so bad because it's so expensive and it's darker for me. But I still keep it because I don't want to gift it to anyone. I am a little little greedy like that but I'm mixing my uh, Armani Silk Luminous Foundation with this moisturizer and seeing if this actually works <laughs> now this was the original color I've used quite a lot of moisturizer and I don't think it is getting any lighter uh, I mean it is still pretty damn dark but if I mix more of it I still feel it's pretty damn dark so, uh, it does not look like my skin tone at all. Uh, so, this ha <coughs> this hack has been such a bummer. I'm sorry, but this does not feel like a nice hack. You can see it is so dark on my skin. So, in case you feel that this will work, do not get a darker foundation and mix moisturizer with it. You will regret it. Sorry for the light change but I was really enjoying making this video and I really want to try all of these hacks, more and more of them. So I didn't want to just stop when the sun went down. I just put my ring light here for you guys to see me better and I'm going to try the next hack that I just saw. Um, it is a nail polish hack and it looked really cool. I really want to try it once. Uh, I think I have to sort of look for my clear nail polish. Six and a half hours later. I think I'm gonna spill it on this cream uh, and see if this actually works or not. Uh, I'm using the black nail polish right now to just spill it. Uh, uh, I think it's very dry for it to spill it, but. I'm intentionally spilling a nail polish guys just for you so please subscribe to my channel and uh, I'm using some sort of a dundi here to create a texture and uh, using my clear nail polish I'm waiting for it to dry off sorry I get really pissed off when nail polishes don't open uh, so I have this clear nail polish which has, I'm applying on the black one I highly doubt this is going to form any sort of thing, but let me try, there's no harm trying, there is it. 
I'm gonna wait until this dries off and get back to you. The entire texture was spoiled, so I am using it again to make some sort of a texture. So it doesn't get spoiled now, but I am really doubting this hack. Like really, really doubting this hack. Okay, so this is what the nail polish does. Every time you put a clear nail polish on the texture, the texture gets spoiled. Okay, so I have this pencil by K Beauty by Katrina. I don't know why and how people use this because uh, to be honest, the only way I've used this is Okay, this is not even sharp, but no, ugh. The most driest pencil I've ever used, ever. It doesn't give no pigmentation, so I am just trying to use this hack for this pencil, if this eyebrow pencil even works. So I am gonna use lip balm to make this work. Now if this has to work, it will work on my Oh my lord, anybody, even James Charles for that matter, has been making fun of all these hacks, but these hacks actually do work. Now this entire pencil, I've never seen so much pigmentation with this pencil on, and I think it's the beauty of a lip balm that made this pencil work, and oh my god, I love this, I absolutely love it. I absolutely love it. Uh, moving on to the next hack is the funniest hack I've ever seen. Uh, it's using the eyelash glue that you use for your eyelashes um, as a glue to make your lips a little more plump than they are. Okay, so apparently what you have to do to give your lips some sort of I'm gonna hold it here till something happens. Do you really think an eyelash glue is strong enough to keep your lips stuck to your upper? What do you call this? Cupid bow? I don't think so. I mean, I own a very bad eyelash glue this is one this is the one from miniso so i don't think it's working or it's effective enough to keep my lips stuck to my skin but i think the one they're using is from duo if you want to try like a more expensive eyelash glue and try this trick which i highly recommend you don't then you can uh, do it and see if it works uh, so that's about it that's about trying all the weird makeup hacks on the five minute crafts youtube video i hope you enjoyed it and before my camera runs out of battery again i'm just gonna switch off and say bye to all of you guys if you liked it please say uh not say please subscribe to our channel like this video comment down below in case you want me to do any more such hacks be it fashion be it beauty be it anything else i am all set to do it because i really enjoyed making it and thanks for watching